The September 29th game against Wheeler started out like any other game, and then a hush fell over the stadium. Junior Luis Morales hit a retaining wall when he was pushed out of bounds, and he could not move his arms or legs. I don't think the game of football is the enemy here. Football uh, teaches kids so many things. Accidents happen in every faucet of our life, not just in football. Uh, unfortunately, it happened to Luis. Luis was taken to Northwest Texas Hospital, where he spent 14 days before flying to Sacramento, California, Shriners Hospital for Children. He got spinal cord rehabilitation there. To know that someone that you had class with and you walked them the hallways with was suddenly hurt and couldn't be there for who knows how long. And to know that he probably wasn't going to walk down the hallways again. Just that next day at school was so heartbreaking. Vegas First Baptist Church held a concert to raise money for the Morales family. And the personalized jerseys worn by the Wagner sisters that night were so popular that everybody wanted one. And I was just like, oh my gosh, yes, he's coming back. When they said Friday, they're like, he's coming back to 17th. I was like, yes, I can finally see my best friend again. Morales was greeted Tuesday morning with smiles and window paintings. Though he was not feeling up to going on camera, the reactions of his peers and teachers said it all. Prayer is very powerful, and that was the biggest thing that we did was pray. We've had a lot of supportive groups that come in, not only financially, but uh, there's a Gridiron Heroes group that's come in. We've missed him since he's been gone, and I mean, just having him back, you know, it's the same Luis in him, so he's got a great personality, and he's fun to be around, and, and so we're excited to have him back. Kendall Lee Bates, Pro News 7.